Hello, Victor here. And uh, here we have throttle body. It's a um, non ASR unit from inline six cylinder engine, right? Inline six. So um, it is energized because that's how non ASR units act. They're mechanical, but idle speed is control. Idle speed and cruise control is controlled um, by com control module and obviously this motor clutches and potentiometers what have you but the actual acceleration is as you can see is manual so usually these run okay uh, but uh, if throttle is off you know when it's shut down or there's an error or it's in limp mode you can ac still accelerate in most cases it will still accelerate but idle speed will be iffy it'll be too high fluctuate and cruise control obviously will not work so that's why you do want it to work otherwise it's just kind of not very comfortable and to drive the car in that condition and, and what have you it's just like all over the place this unit cleaned off nice and it's a used unit as you can see the sticker i cleaned off all the um, silicone that was here because you can see some scratches but once new gasket goes on or even if a slight smirge of silicone is spread over these in imperfections it'll seal off perfectly fine no problems I don't see an issue there okay so what do we do first of all the unit is on and I want to show life readings from first potentiometer and then I'm gonna show you life readings from the second one all right so here are here's our life readings right so we're gonna open the plate potentiometer R1 as you can see changes its value 0.49 the upper one remains the same because the other one is controlled by gear and it's not on the control idle control as you can see the motor fights me when I try to move the gear and that's proper okay so this is how idle speed is controlled it keeps keeping the it keeps the plate where it needs to be because clutch coil and all the gears are connected I mean with the, this gear is connected with the clutch coil with the clutch to the motor so that's why the shaft is connected via clutch coil to gears now I'm gonna induce the limp mode just to show you the second potentiometer it's pretty simple I'll just take the gear off you see the motor tries to control the angle it's still not in limp mode so let's get the limp mode going apparently can't do that all right let's go forward okay that's it here's the limp mode now motor stop throttle is off so I'm gonna go wide open throttle as much as I can so we just want to see potentiometer are two which is above I see the readings are pretty much close to each other because I'm moving it manually because the shaft and the first potentiometer they're pretty much together at this point and when I go back we also can see that micro switch switches to on if I move the plate if I move the secondary potentiometer right micro switch also shuts off so this is an operational unit no question about it I already had it on the bench for many hours just to see if clutch coils is good because clutch coil usually gives up when throttle is hot and yes it did pass that test before I even rewired it all right so this is it basically I'm gonna leave it on the bench have it uh, you know have it have it on the bench for a while just to heat it up one more time when all the wires are replaced and that's it the unit is ready to go it's operational all right so this is it for me this is victor at restoringmercedes.com thank you for watching